Advocate keynote speaker, Ms. Kate Bartlett. Kate has contributed to the MBSC in so many ways over the past three years that I've gotten to know her while working at the MBSC. Kate has a very impressive speaker bio that I'll share with you all in a minute, but I first wanted to highlight a few of her key contributions to our organization, how thankful we are to have her leadership, support, and dedication. Kate has served as a volunteer at countless MBSC events, not only giving her time to our organization, but involving her community of family and friends too. This includes our Advocates in Motion program, our Buddy Walk and Family Festival, and our annual conference every March. Thanks to Kate and her network, we are never short of amazing volunteers. In the summer of 2011, Kate served as the MBSC's first self-advocate intern. We are thankful for Kate's contributions to the work of our team and for teaching us how to better include self-advocates in the behind-the-scenes work we do in the office. For the past two years, Kate has stepped up to lead workshops at our annual conference in Worcester. Taking inspiration from her passions for poetry and dance, Kate crafted sessions that she presented to more than, to, to more than 90 self-advocates. Her skill as a presenter got attendees thinking and moving, and she got more than one participant excited about the possibility of presenting a session of their own someday. Kate has been a strong advocate for inclusion, not only by talking about it, but by living it. She participated in an awareness project at an elementary school in Sudbury and an advocacy day at the State House. This past summer, she welcomed a reporter from Japan to her office in downtown Boston. As you can see, Kate is having an influence well beyond her local community. Here she is in the Yomiori Shimbun, a Japanese newspaper with a daily circulation of 13.4 million copies. Kate will also represent the MBSC this February in our nation's capital for our Buddy Walk on Washington, where she will join advocates from across the country to advance opportunities for people with Down syndrome. Kate has been a member of the MBSC's Self-Advocate Advisory Council since its inception in December of 2011. In this role, Kate advises the MBSC on how we can work to expand our outreach to and impact on adults throughout the state. Kate and her fellow council members hosted 75 people at Granite Links Golf Club in January for the MBSC's first networking event for adults. As you can tell, Kate is an integral member of the MBSC community, but this is really no surprise. After graduating high school at 18, Kate passed the Massachusetts Comprehensive Assessment System test on her first try in 10th grade. She has been a speaker at various conferences and events, including the MBSC Annual Conference, the MBSC Educators Forum, the NBSC Annual Conferences in Atlanta, Washington, and Orlando, and Boston College. Kate testified at a U.S. Senate hearing in Washington, D.C. in 2006. Kate is also the recipient of the NBSS's Voices Award. Kate benefited from IDEA and Massachusetts Chapter 766. She was educated in the same public schools and regular education classrooms as her brothers and friends. Growing up, she participated in Girl Scouts, sports, dance classes, and chorus. In high school, she earned four varsity letters in swimming, performed and traveled with the high school chorus, and attended every dance and prom. Kate is the recipient of Arlington High's Thompson Scholarship, Ruth Ann Santino Memorial Scholarship, the NDSS's Joshua O'Neill and Zeshan Tabani Scholarship, and the NDSS Voices Award. Kate graduated from Middlesex Community College in May. However, she still has one class left to complete an associate degree in liberal studies. As part of her degree, she has taken many theater courses, and that is what she loves. She's performed in a number of theater productions, including Middlesex Community College's Into the Woods and A Midsummer Night's Dream. She has also worked backstage as set crew. Kate takes dance classes, works out at her local gym, and sings with a Glee for Grown Ups adult education class. Kate works part-time in the Human Resources Department of Aquin LLC in Boston, Mass. At present, Kate's goals are to complete her final class, work full-time, continue acting and singing, and at some point, live independently. So please help me welcome Ms. Kate Bartlett. <laughs> 